That's sulfuric well, acid. Be careful of scorpions. Now I see what we're dealing with. I was driving eight hours from Kabul to ascend a mountain with skis strapped to my feet. We all get to go down. After backcountry skiing for the first time in my life, I took off the skis to explore parts of the Bamiyan Valley with my own two legs. Wild places that tourists don't go to. Oh yeah. Their religion was Buddhism, right? The Buddhas of Bamiyan are carved into the mountainside in, well, Bamiyan. Yeah. They symbolize some of the westernmost regions the religion reached. Initially, all Bamiyan guys, so um, they came, they were coming here for idol worshiping. Calling it in local language, Budbacha, means uh, a baby Boro. Those are small houses, shelters for the people, like people that didn't have such kind of houses before. It's this name, the, the name of this Buddha is Shamoma. Shamoma is the lady name. As we ventured closer to the Buddhas, it became apparent how old the site is. But why was Buddhism present in Afghanistan in the first place, and for so long? Bamiyan is clearly in the Hindu Kush, as you saw when I shredded down a mountain a few hours back. The Silk Road also runs through the Hindu Kush, particularly through the Bamiyan Valley, where I am now. This massive road connected East Asia to as far as Southern Europe, along which trade, culture, and religion all passed. Today, empty shells of the Buddhas remain after they were destroyed in 2001. All this history makes the site super interesting to people like me, who just want to see what the site looks like today. Come on, bro. All right. It's darker, okay? Be careful of uh, some scorpions. Ah, oh, shit. Man, I didn't sign up for scorpions. Come on, guys. There weren't that many steps, but need I remind you of the backcountry skiing a few hours ago? I was now standing inside the remains of a Buddha over a millennium old, carved into a cliff in central Afghanistan. Wow. This was definitely a once in a lifetime experience I was so fortunate to have. This is a lot of steps. Be careful, bro. Inside the top level, you can see parts of Bazaar Road in the village and Golgola, which is also known as the City of Screams, and we'll see more of that soon. This area is super narrow and gets crowded with more than two or three people, but the incredibly unique views don't change. Yeah, that was really cool. I'm scared of heights though. I don't know, that's f terrifying. What, do you mean? Eric. Who? Eric. Oh, what is your name? My name is Mason. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Muhammad Amin. Muhammad Amin. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. I made some new friends on the way out, and we tried to exchange contact info, but I had no idea how to read the phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> here. Yeah. Uh, number, number. Number. I'm happy to be a visitor here. Yeah. Afghanistan. We did have a good night's sleep, but the next day started bright and early from the hotel. Thank you. Thank you. We arrived at Zahok, also known as the Red City. This was home to a few thousand people. This area underwent fortification between 5 and 600 AD, which pretty much lines up with when the Buddhas of Bamiyan had finished being carved. Genghis Khan, the founder of the Mongol Empire, had destroyed parts of the Red City, but we're lucky enough to still see some of its remains today. Just climbed all the way to the top of this thing. I was even luckier to explore the place in person.
Remember Golgola? We headed to another site destroyed by Genghis Khan during the siege of Bamiyan. We are at the crossroads of history, where the bustling town of Bamiyan resides beneath the mountain where all this violence happened. And I'm standing right in the middle of it. Seven years. The, the environment is like all English. I never studied English. Can your parents speak English? My father can speak Russian. They learned it from cartoons. To be honest, I was so captivated with everything I've seen and experienced so far that all my nerves were gone and I forgot what country I was in. When we started walking to the exit with the heart of Bamiyan on the other side, my brain reminded me that I was in Afghanistan. But I've never been more excited and interested to see a city before. Shopping in the yeah. city. We are seriously an attraction. Yep, everyone's looking at us again. <laughs> Look at all these foreigners. This is the first country I've been to that it actually feels like I'm traveling somewhere foreign, truly. Do you know the owner of the room that we went to, or is it just a local place that anyone it's can go It's a local to? place, but it's a famous place. It names as a hawk. The same as the, same the, as the city that we saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bamiyan felt more slow-paced and less overwhelming than the capital city, but this place is much like Kabul in certain ways. There's a lot going on in every street, shops at every corner, and people everywhere. I couldn't help but appreciate the view of the beautiful Hindu Kush in the distance. I was somewhere in that mountain range just the day before. We poked our heads into some shops down an alleyway. They were super dense and filled with people in all directions. Look at all these shoes. Mm -hmm. Canada. From Canada. Canada. Salam. Salam. That concluded my time in Bamiyan. The snow that covered the shorter route back to the capital was gone. It was time to hit the road, but there was one more thing to see. The other ones that I've been to, they smell terrible. It's coming from that hole, really yeah. under the mountain. I was told by a mirror that this was sulfuric acid, and I don't understand why people are touching it. So either it's not sulfuric acid, or they're just crazy. Maybe it's not very strong. Oh, yeah, it's not really hot. We're getting out of here because some rocks started falling.
run across the road. Okay, thank you. Canada. 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 Salam. 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 It tastes like Coke, but without all the sugar and it's flat. The chains are now on, smacking the inside of the rim. We almost got run over by a tractor. <laughs> After a crazy eight hour adventure on the roads, we were welcomed with bright lights to Afghanistan's capital city. Now that we're here, let's explore Kabul together in the next episode of the Afghan Vlog.